Hello everyone, good afternoon. My name is Mustafa Mohamed Boche and today I want to share with you a simple chat application that I've developed using socket.io. So previously I made a simple chat application which is more like a group chat. So anybody that visit the URL localhost colon 3000 basically logs in and then can be sending message back and forth. But this time around I want I have designed it in such a way that it's more like a private chat okay so i'm going to log in as musi right right over here and I, as i've logged in no one is currently present and of course i'm online but i don't need to indicate myself as being online okay so i'm going to log in over here as cars and soon as cars logs in you can see that musi is online and when you go to musi section you can see that cars is online so for instance musi can click on cars and then send a message to him by saying for instance hi okay and as I've sent a message to cars cars can also see right over here that he has received a message from Musi right so he can also respond by saying hey and as cars type, uh, start to type Musi can see that cars is typing so I can see right over here that cars is typing right so now cars can respond okay good and then the trans uh, you know the message transaction can go back and forth like that but let's say for instance there is this gentleman called Michael. he also logs in right so he has logged in now there is you know musi and then there is cars but cars and musi have already made some message transactions so Michael is not able to see it because this is what a private messaging you know for instance chat okay so Michael can, for instance, send a message to Musi by saying, Yo, okay, and then Musi can see that okay, Michael has sent him a message, and then he can respond by saying, Hey, or hi. So, over here, Michael is saying that Musi has responded, although Carl sent a message to Musi and Musi received it and then responded. So, for instance, when I click on how do you call it, cars, I get to see the message transaction that I have with cars. And when I click on mic, I also get to see the message transaction that I have with my car. Cars, on the other hand, can click on my name and see the message transaction he has with me. But when he click on my car, he does not have any message transaction yet. So he can then start a new message transaction with my car. Okay, so let's see. Hey. Where are you now? And then Micah can see the message that Cass sent to you know to him. So basically, this is a simple private chat application using Socket.io. I might do a video tutorial, and I may trans uh, you know transform this to a desktop app using Electron. So once i made that decision and i develop it i'll let you guys know so thank you for having the time to watch this presentation and i'll see you in the next one bye bye